ready. Um, if math, Howard's got his camera on first. So uh, we'll go Howard and then Matthew. If you wanna ask a question to Mac, please raise your hand, use the raise your hand function um, and we'll get to your question. So Howard, go ahead. Appreciate it, Mac, good to see you as always. Um, got a couple for you if I could. Um, one, I just, um, that first meeting that you had with coach is just open gym in Maine. Uh, take me through what that moment was like, what you remember about it and uh, the ways in which it feels like um, you can still sort of take yourself back and think through that moment. Yeah, um, I wasn't allowed to talk to her at the open gym, um, but I knew she was there and just her being there meant a lot to me um, in general, just because, you know, when a head coach for a team is coming all the way from Indiana to Maine to see, you know, an open gym in a, in a middle school gym, we I don't even think we had very many kids there. Um, but I know she wasn't there for that. I know she was there because um, she wanted to show her interest in me. And I, and that just went a long way for me personally um, in my recruiting process. In terms of the specifics of that, was that a moment that it kind of clicked for you that there was a power five future for you as a player? And uh, if not, I'm wondering if there was such a moment. Um, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I always had a dream of playing at the highest level um, and Indiana was just, quite frankly, my best offer, but um, it was also a place that I could picture myself at. So I think the combination between the two um, kind of among a lot of other things kind of led me to IU, but um, I could see, you know, the direction that this program was trending in when I was being recruited to what coach Morin had accomplished in her. Um, I think when I was being recruited, it was her, she was there, it was maybe her fourth or fifth year, but um, she was just, you know, continuing to get better. And you could tell they were building something very special. And just the last one for me, how, and, and maybe you haven't done this yet, but have you taken stock of what your trajectory means for women's basketball in the state of Maine? What, what it means that you have made this journey and what it could mean for other players who come to follow you? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm aware that, you know, um, that I have the platform that I do. And, you know, my hope is to always inspire others, um, especially from Maine, um, show them that, you know, things like this are possible. But um, most importantly, I just hope that they see me, you know, as, as a good role model and as a good person um, and someone that they um, can and want to look up to. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Matthew. Hi, Mackenzie. Uh you obviously have history uh, in the arena with sort of the state finals in high school. Uh, with, with this kind of being a homecoming, I was wondering if you've been texting or calling some of those high school teammates leading up to uh, to the game. Um, yeah, I, you know, when I get home, when I, whenever I do get to go home, whether it be August or May, I try to make an effort to see, you know, some of my old high school friends and teammates at least once. And so when I was home in August, um, I got breakfast with some of them and just talked about the game and, and them coming to the game. So I'm really excited to see them there. They haven't seen me play in real life. Uh, well, some of them were at the Quinnipiac game, but it's been a while. Um, so it's going to be, be really exciting to see, you know, my old high school friends, teammates, AAU teammates, um, because those are, those are some of my um, friends that I'm going to have for life. So it'll be really cool to see them there. Drew. And Mackenzie Drew with the Press Herald. Uh, just, uh, I mean, you're just you're just going to uh, your your excitement uh, your excitement level for the game. You know, has it been something that's? Uh, I mean, you, you want to stay focused on the rest of the season uh, for sure. But has it been something that you know has just kind of been in the back of your mind uh, um, throughout this year? Is it exciting to be able to now kind of turn the page and focus entirely on this game? And uh, how did you find out that this was that this game was going to um, was going to be happening? Yeah, so I found out back in August, um, our director of ops actually told me. Um, I was very surprised, but very excited. Um, but this has honestly snuck up on me. I feel like from when I found out, in, uh, it wasn't even August, I think it was July. Um, from then to now um, has just gone super fast. Um, things have moved quickly and I can't believe that, you know, in a couple hours here, we're gonna be heading on a plane um, back home. So it's really exciting, but, you know, things move fast in college basketball. It doesn't give you much time to think about a lot other than what's right in front of you. So I think that um, times move fast and I can't believe that this is already here. Seth. Hey, Mackenzie, obviously, you know, you're 
excited and, and really looking forward to this game. I'm curious, I mean, talking to your family, how excited is your family for this? Yeah, they're super excited, of course. I mean, um, this is something that, you know, not a lot of players get to experience. And I'm extremely blessed that, um, you know, Coach Morin um, helped make this happen. The rest of my staff, the rest of the staff here has helped make this happen. It, it means a lot to me. And how have your, I guess, over the last few days as you've, you know, been thinking about this game more and more, how have your teammates kind of, you know, taken this, like you, your kind of homecoming game? Like how much have you kind of been talking to them about this? I mean, I don't think we're treating this, you know, differently than any other game. We're preparing the same. We're going to have um, uh, a great, great, great game plan, um, great scouting report on them, like we always do for every team. So I think we're just, you know, taking this as another game, but also understanding that um, it's going to be a really exciting one, too, with a lot of people in the stands. Travis? Hey, Mackenzie. Uh, just um, in terms of the logistics, dealing with family, friends, and things like that, and, you know, we all know that, you know, how laser-focused you can be. How have you kind of handled that stuff in terms of, you know, just wanting to go play a basketball game. And, and, and do you feel like you're putting additional pressure on yourself that's different than other games because of the circumstances? Um, thankfully, my dad has handled a lot of, um, you know, the seating stuff at the Cross Insurance Arena, and he's dealt with a lot of, like, the, you know, people talking about coming to the game. So I've been really lucky that he's been so helpful in that, that he he knows how I am. Um, he knows how focused I am. So he's kind of taken all of that um, into his own hands, which I'm very, very grateful for. But, you know, just getting texts from people saying they're coming to the game. Um, you know, like I just said before, I'm not trying to look at this too differently um, from a game plan standpoint. Um, I feel like, you know, I always will do my best to be prepared for every game and it's going to be similar to that. Thank you. Drew? Um, because you just kind of jumping on the question uh, uh, Travis asked, uh, do you anticipate any any uh, any nerves as you get closer to the game or maybe when, as you go on to the as you go on the floor, you know, it's the floor where you won state championships and everything. Um, uh, do you expect some do you expect some nerves to 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 kick in for this game? And do you feel you might have to rein yourself in at all? I mean, that's uh, that's something coach was talking about earlier that, you know, most of can get high. Do you feel you might have to rein yourself in during the game? Um, yeah, I'm going to do my best to stay level headed. Obviously, it's very exciting in an arena that means a lot to me um, and my, you know, and my high school career spent um, a lot of games in there. But, you know, I, I'm just going to go in, um, not trying to overthink it. Um, and I know that, you know, my the staff, my coaches, my teammates will help, you know, keep me level headed. Seth. Yeah, you mentioned the Quinnipiac game from a couple of years ago. Like, what was, I mean, obviously this one's a little closer to home for you than that one was, but, you know, I guess how many are more people do you, are you kind of expecting for this than, than that? What was that experience like? And, you know, I guess, does that kind of give you a baseline for how to approach something like this? Yeah, um, I had a lot of fans at that Quinnipiac game as well there to watch us play. Um I don't know exactly how many. We didn't play great in that game. Um, should have beat them by a lot more. Um, so I think, you know, knowing that's how we played last time, you know, we got to go in with a better mindset this time around. Dave? Thanks, Megan. Hi, Kenzie. Hi, how are how you? How are you? Good. The The day is finally here. When when I last spoke to you, it was uh, before the uh, Florida, uh, the two games in uh, Fort Myers and now that it's here and and the questions have really already been asked, but um, you can really focus in not only on the game, but coming back home. And um, I think back to the summer when Maine and Indiana made this possible. And just now that you've had time to kind of digest the whole thing, those schools coming together uh, to make this possible, um, that's got to make you feel uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm very, very, very blessed um, to have someone like Coach Morin in my life who knows how much, you know, Maine and my people back home mean to me. Um, so for her to, you know, take the effort to make this happen and for Coach Vashon as well um, for letting this, allowing this to happen, you know, we're playing at a neutral site, um, which, um, you know, is going to be great because it's closer to home for me um, than Orono is. Um, so I'm very thankful that, you know, Coach made this happen and that Coach Vashon as well um, wanted to make this happen as well. 
And final final question for me. Yeah, just talk about how your teammates are feeling um, heading into this game for you. I think they're excited. Um, you know, I talk about Maine a lot. So um, for them to, you know, finally get to see um, to see where I grew up, because, um, you know, Portland's very close to Gorham. And I spent a lot of time in Portland, you know, hanging out, playing basketball. So just for them to be able to see um, something that's really near and dear to my heart is really, really special. Good luck tomorrow night. Enjoy every moment, Kenzie. And we'll, we'll see you at the cross. Thanks. We'll go Drew and then Matthew again. Yeah, uh, Mackenzie, we talked about the, uh, the 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 memories at the Cross Arena that you've had uh, there. What what are some of the ones that really stand out the most specific memories? Whether it's you know hosting the, tro the trophy for the first time, whether it's seeing that crowd for a championship game the first time. Uh, what are some of the specific memories when you think about the basketball that you've played uh, at that arena? Yeah, so I mean, um, I've won state championships there, and I've also lost a state championship there. So um, I feel like I've experienced a lot. Um, of different things throughout my playing career. Um, I mean, I think that, you know, we drew great crowds for tournament games, but also I, I think about February break being that time where I spent, even if I wasn't playing, I was always at the Cross Insurance Arena watching games because we would get a pass to go to all the games. So I'd sp I spent a lot of time in there, not only playing, but also watching a lot of basketball as well. Matthew. Uh, I was curious if uh, your brother Cam is going to be making the trip uh, back to watch you play. He can't. Um, he's a GA at Illinois State, and they have a game that they're playing in, so he's not going to be able to make it. All right. Thanks, Mac. Thank you.